Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video what we're going to be going over is taking a character and animations from Mixmo and importing them into Unreal Engine 5 as you can see on screen here. I've got a nice character with some different animations for idle, walking, running and jumping. So I'm going to show you the whole process of finding them on Mixmo, choosing the correct settings, downloading them and importing them into Unreal Engine for us to be able to use as you can see here on screen. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to mixmo.com, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. This is a great website made by Adobe, or at least funded by Adobe, owned by Adobe Now, which gives you access to a load of free characters and animations which you can use in your game, and these are absolutely amazing. So let's just find a random character on here. So once you go to mixmo.com and log in with your Adobe account, go to characters up here. I'm just gonna find a random one. So let's go with the knight here, Paladin J Nordstorm. Once it's loaded, you should see we have a preview here of our character and a nice T-pose so we can nice and easily animate it. And this will give us the character and the skeleton in order to be able to animate as well. So once you've picked the character which you want to use, I'm gonna go over to download here. We want to make sure it is an FBX binary and in the T-pose format. And we're gonna download this like so. Then you just want to choose where to download it. I'm just gonna put it into my downloads folder and I'll leave it the same name, paladinjnordstorm.fbx. I've now got my character downloaded as you can see here. Now I want to find some animations for him as well. So I'm gonna go to the animations tab now. I just wanna get some nice simple idle, walk, run, and jump animations. So those are the four which I'm gonna be getting today. And that's just to show you the process of how you can easily find them. So you'll notice he does have some of his own already. So he has a sword and shield pack. I'm not really gonna be specifically getting those but as you can see, we have so many different animations here to choose from. It is 52 pages, which we have access to. So I'm just gonna search for idle first off here, like so. Again, we have tons of different idle animations. I personally like the breathing idle, which we have here. Just looks nice and realistic and gives the character a bit of energy to them like this. And as you can see, you can really customize this quite a lot. So you can change the body type if you wanted, just to change how they're gonna look, so it's leading a bit more to the right or his left, I suppose, instead. You can change the amount of sway which he's got, so if you think it's too much, you can decrease it, so you can see there's a lot less there now, so you put it to zero, it's like that. Put it all the way back to 100, it's like this. You can do the same with breathing, so if he's breathing heavily or not as, as heavily as he is already, as you can see there. And we can also change the overdrive, which is essentially kind of the speed or how much energy he's actually putting into it. So if we put it to 100, it should be going pretty fast, putting a lot of drive into it. And if we put it to zero, it should be going fairly slowly and not as much energy as you can see there. I'm gonna leave it as 50, so I will reset it like so. Character arm space, quite obvious, it's just gonna move the space in between the arms, so it'll move them up and down. So you can see that doesn't look good at all. It looks like it's been kind of handcuffed. And if we put them all the way out, it's gonna be kind of having them really high up, which again, wouldn't look good like this. So for me, I'm just gonna reset it back to 50. And trim, you can also trim where the animation's gonna go. That didn't actually reset for some reason. So let me just move it there like so. And trim is just trimming where the animation starts and ends, like what frame. So you just notice if I move this, the animation will be longer. It's now gonna have more frames in it. This is good if you want just a specific part of an animation, but I typically just leave it as it is, as normally they are set perfectly to how they should be with the correct amount of keyframes in them. So I'm happy with this animation which we have here, so I'm gonna download this. We want this to be an FBX binary without skin, because we don't need the skin. The skin is on the character we've already downloaded, so if we change it to without skin, that's just gonna save us a lot of storage. Frames per second, we can leave as 30, and keyframe reduction, we can leave as none. We're gonna download this like so. And you can now do this process for as many different animations and characters that you want. So again, I'm gonna put that into my downloads folder. And one thing you do wanna make sure is that if you're downloading an animation for a character, the character you want has to be in here like so. So if I were to choose a different character and download it, the animation would be specific to that character. So the animation here for Breathing Idol is specific for this character's skeleton, which means it will work perfectly and we won't need to retarget it in Unreal, which I'll make another video on how to do in the future. So we've got our idol, now I also want walk. Now this process can be very similar. I'm just gonna go through it just, to, just so you can see the whole process. Again, you can see we have so many different walking animations here, like so, so we've got a sneaky. I don't want that, I just want a normal walking animation, like so. 
Now you'll notice he is actually walking off. We do not want that in Unreal Engine. So this would be something which you would call root motion because in order to make this work, you'd have to use root motion in Unreal. But if we just tick in place, you'll notice he's now not moving anywhere. It's just playing the animation, which is perfect for what we want. So if the animation you're using on Mixmo doesn't have the in place option, either find a new one or learn how root motion works. It's not too difficult. All you need is essentially a character with a root bone on it, which sometimes the Mixmo characters don't have. And we can also mirror them as you can see here. So that obviously is self-explanatory as well. I'm gonna download this one. It should have saved your settings, which you used last time. So we can just press download straight away. And I'm gonna save this in my same folder. Then I want to run, same process. I'm gonna find one which is in place. So I think maybe this one looks quite good, very energetic, very fast as well. So I'm gonna change in place. And with this one, you can also change the speed so it's quicker or slower. But for me, this is gonna work all right. And I will download without skin, download like so. Save that and I'll get one final one being a jump. Again, I'm just going through this so to show you the basic animations which you'd want. Now, jumping is quite interesting to do in Unreal. So you can either have a whole jump animation as you can see here, or you can get just the start of it like that, and then get just the end and an idle. So if we search for jump end, we should have them and it's sometimes quite hard to find because the search process on here isn't exactly what you'd expect. So I searched with jump end and I've got a goalkeeper miss, but really at the end of the day, it's a free software, so you can't really complain. But yeah, what I like to do is get jump start, jump middle and jump end, just to make it look a lot more fluid. So that's what I'm gonna try and do here. So it might be called jump down instead of jump end. So I'm gonna firstly download jump up like so and find jump down. I have used it before, so I do know it exists. There we go, jumping down. So again, you've just really gotta search for it and try and find it. And once you do find it, it's worth it because it does look a lot better. It's a lot more fluid. But again, you can also use whatever animations you like. So we'll download that. And now the final one we need is just the jump idle. So when the player is actually still in the air, they can have an animation for that as well. So let me search for jumping idle, see if I can find it. Because I want the one which is very similar to this. So you notice this is the full animation. We have jump up, jump down, and now we just want the idle part as well. So let's see if we can find that. In fact, if I remember correctly, I think it actually might be called falling idle, not jumping. Yeah, there we go, falling idle. Again, naming is not amazing, but it works. So falling idle, we'll download that like so. So now we have our character and all of our animations downloaded, as you can see here. We now need to import these into Unreal. So that's also nice and simple to do. So we're now back inside of Unreal Engine. You'll notice this is our Unreal Engine 5 project, which we have here. If we press Control and Space to open up our content browser, what I'm gonna do is create a new folder. So right click, new folder, and I'm gonna name this one Paladin Character, as that's what our character's called, obviously the Knight. And now we're gonna open up our folder. Go to our downloads where we have it downloaded. And what we want to do is first off, we want to actually import our character before we import anything else we would need to do the character so that's paladin j nordstorm fbx here drag and drop it in and you'll notice we now have these settings here for the fbx import options skeleton we don't need to choose because it will be imported with this character we want to make sure we do tick skeletal mesh and import mesh here everything else you can pretty much just leave the same unless you've changed them already it's fine as it is by default press import all here now you'll notice we have this error here, no smoothing group information. That's just because of the way the mesh has been created. They didn't include smoothing groups, which is something you'll obviously learn if you do 3D modeling. It's fine, it's not a problem, it's just kind of how the lighting affects it. So we can close that as it's not a problem for us at all. Reopen our content browser, and you'll notice we now have these different assets here. I'm gonna organize it a bit more, so I create another new folder, calling this one mats, and I'm gonna just drag in my materials and textures and put them into there. And then I'm going to create another new folder, naming this one skeleton and putting these in here. I mean, it's not just a skeleton, but I want to put them in there. Now, the three different things we have is we have a skeletal mesh, a physics asset, and a skeleton. So the skeletal mesh is the thing the player will actually see. Let me just drag it in here so we can see it. This is what the player sees. And then the physics asset is what you might expect, is what gives the character physics. So especially if you're doing ragdoll or physical animations, 
this is very useful and the skeleton is looks the same thing but this is what actually controls the animations so you see we have all the different skeletons here like so so I'm going to close that now let's import the animations so I'm going to go back here and right click add new folder and name this one animations then we can just import all of our animations at the same time so drag and drop them in like so then the skeleton we want to make sure we set this to our paladin j nordstorm skeleton or whatever the name of your skeleton is that means the animations will go onto the correct skeleton so they'll look perfect and everything else again we can leave as default and press import all now because we did it without skin this shouldn't import any textures or materials or anything it should just have the animations as we can see perfectly here so what i'm going to do now is, is just place these in the level like this obviously they're all on top of each other but i'll move them out so we're now going to have all of our different animations here actually i will do these all separately but i'll just cut the video soon after watch that process so now we have all of our animations here if i were to just simulate this there we go you can notice we now have all of our different animations here so we've got idle walking running jumping idle jumping up and jumping down like so so we've gone on to mixmo found a character and some animations which we like and imported our character and our animations into unreal engine as we can see here and what i'm going to do in the future as well is also create a video on animation retargeting inside of unreal engine 5 so you can take an animation from mixmo and retarget it to a different skeleton so if you wanted it for the unreal mannequin for example or an animation from the mannequin to a mixmo character very easy to do and i will show you how to do that in the future and i do already have a video on making an animation blueprint in unreal engine 5 as well if you wanted to go see that i'll leave a link to that in the description down below but i think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do what we've done is we've gone onto mixmo found a character animations which we like and imported those into unreal engine 5 so we can now use these within our game as well and again this is completely free but you will need to make sure to credit mixmo in the credits of your game so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one